American Bear Center's Volunteer Week celebration. It is National Volunteer Week, and we are on our third, well, this would be our fourth day of uh, broadcasting, which is really, really neat. Uh, we just want to say hi to everybody out there. Welcome to North American Bear Center, Northwoods Ecology Hall. My name is Scott Edgett, and I am going to bring Heidi, our uh, volunteer coordinator and uh, manager of the Bear Center, here right now. Hi, Heidi. Hi. Here's Hi. Heidi. Hi. And uh, we're going to have some fun with the uh, with Volunteer Week uh, now with Heidi today. Absolutely. And uh, as everybody knows out there, we want to say thanks and uh, give a shout out to all those people that, again, are just joining us. It's National Volunteer Week. And here at the North American Bear Center, we are celebrating all you guys out there and the help that you do for the Bear Center. And we want to say hi and say uh, thank you for everything that you do for us, right? A great big thank you. I was kind of thinking as I was sitting here, because Scott told me that I needed to get something nice and prepared. And so I, you see, I've got my list because I need prompts because I'm old. And so I have to have stuff to look at a little bit. <laughs> But something that's not on the I'm list. I'm in trouble. Yeah. You're old. A <laughs> little bit. Just a little bit. But I think back to when I started back here in 2011 and how volunteers, there's been so much that has changed since I've started working here, whether it's been administration or the physical aspects of the Bear Center itself. One thing that's always stayed constant, one thing that's always stayed steady, and that's our volunteer force. And we really are very lucky to have that steady, constant volunteer force, that base to help us grow as a business and to you know make the experience better for visitors as they come through the doors. Very good point. And uh, Heidi says almost every day that we're really lucky to have you guys. And uh, she's just uh, ingrained in the fact that we couldn't do what we do without you guys out there. And I feel the same way. I mean, how many hours last year alone were recorded? Well, the ones that were recorded, please turn on our hours. <laughs> <laughs> Please turn in your hours. <laughs> there was well over 16,000 hours that were recorded for what people turned in, and that's just amazing on its own. And because of that, that allows me, selfishly, I'm going to be selfish here. Thank you, volunteers, for letting me be selfish and spend time with my family and being able to leave here when I leave here and leave work behind and go spend time with my family as my kids are growing. Because without that probably be here working more hours and spending that that valuable time that's there to help my kids as they grow and become better people i never looked at it that way i never did it, that is that is a, that is a good point that's to bring true. up so because of you guys i can work the hours i work and uh do the hobbies that i like to do too right correct right wow that's We're amazing selfish. what a good way to thanks put for it. letting us be selfish volunteers We're all selfless and that's really it's really great to have that is well put i i, I would have never thought about that this week but well, that that's why so, you keep so me cool. around because sometimes i can do stuff like this <laughs> yeah. well we'd have you sing because we know you can do that but i don't think we're gonna not today but, i don't have my guitar <laughs> She don't have her friend with her. That's right. But um, really, uh, Heidi speaks the truth. I mean, the volunteers here are amazing, to say the least. And we want to say thank you to everybody out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. And if you're just joining us, here we are on uh, National Volunteer Week, a big thank you week for us. And it gives us an opportunity to express our gratitude toward you and what you do. And we get to do that every day at 12 noon Ely time. And then Friday is the big day. Which is tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. And that's the big, big day. It's a huge day. This stuff's just going to be flying out of here because of all our volunteers. And today, uh, you know, we, we're, we've we got a, a, a gift to give away, as we have been each day. And we'll uh, bring that gift out here just shortly. But before we do that, we want to talk about some of our groups some of the uh, programs that are out there and different things that they can have. We have a lot of different active volunteer teams, and that's what I'm basing my list off of is the active volunteer teams okay. that I was turned in, the hours were turned into but me. But there's some out there that weren't active because we didn't were, have a, uh, something Well, and on. there's been a lot. Again, if you look back at 2011, and Bear Center goes back longer than that, but I'm just going back from when I started yeah. on how those groups have changed as the center has evolved. As we move True. along, there's been different needs and, you know, some t of the different group, groups have stepped right, up. Right, exactly, yes. exactly. Or people, individuals. Exactly. Correct. So if you're in a group that's kind of stagnant, get a hold of us. We, I'm sure other teams would be happy to take you aboard. I know that there's always seems to be a need for the pond chat moderators. There's always a need for that. As well as I want to say the fundraising team, I want to say they've been looking for some members. They've been asking me to send applications their way. I know that... Next season, JT will probably be searching for some more bear eds, you know, okay. to help for that volunteer program. And, of course, if there's ever any other need, you know, let us know so we can send applications your way, mods, you know, because 
not just are there other teams, but then there's people that are the head of those teams. So I really don't have a lot to do as volunteer coordinator because those mods take, or the moderators of the team take care of so much, those project well, leaders, that they just turn the information to me, and I just, I'm kind of, I shuffle papers. That's so what I do. So you're saying there's needs out there right now? Yep, with the okay. Ponchat mods, absolutely, and then the, um, like I said, the fundraising team. But in okay. addition to those two teams, okay. we also have our Bear Eds, which I mentioned. Okay. The fundraising team, we okay. need a, we need some help there, supposedly. <laughs> the Facebook well, we moderators, which is the North American Bear Center page, and I believe the Pear Chat picture page. Um, Ponchat mods, which I Can mentioned. Can you say that one more time? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bear Chat. Picture page, yes. Picture page. One of those. Okay. Yes. The Speakers Bureau, okay. um, Team Forward, Bear Facts and Fun, and then there are probably a dozen or so volunteers out there that don't actually belong underneath any of those umbrella teams. They just are out there doing different little tasks for us that don't, right, that aren't necessarily a team member, but that doesn't mean they're not. Force. They exactly. may not be a ton exactly. of team, but they're still right. a force. Right. I'm, yes. I know I don't what you're saying. I know you're you saying. From this. You know who you are. <laughs> you know, but... I, you might just not belong to a team, and that, but that doesn't mean they're not doing the work right. for us. Right, very, very true. And, you know, I know that if if we've got somebody that's interested in becoming an active volunteer or a volunteer, and they happen to go on our website, which is? www.bear.org. So, for those of you out there that may be interested in a spot, there, there is descriptions on there. There are descriptions of each team on there. you got to go to the volunteer tab, and there's a whole list of the descriptions of okay. the teams. I do believe that it also has the teams that are seeking members right now. Those are a little bit higher up on the list saying, okay. hey, come join us right now. And then you can click on that link, and it's going to bring you to a place where you can turn in your application. And that all gets done right online, and then that gets submitted, and I check it. And then, like I said, I turn in those applications to the different you know, people who are in charge of the different teams saying, hey, this person showed okay. some interest, you know, could you please contact them? Wow. And there's some benefits to being a volunteer. There like, is? Well, there benefits? Are, besides besides just, just working? Feeling, <laughs> right, working for no money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we go home and have fun? Right, right. Not because fair. Because we're, we're selfish. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the benefits of being a volunteer is you get to meet other people who are very passionate about the same things that you are, but you also get a membership to the Bear Center for free, which means that you can come and go through here throughout that year as you please, you know, come in and visit us as many times. You don't have to pay admission. It adds up if you're not a member. Just I saying. Like that. Right? And you also get a discount in our gift shop, whether it's online or on site. Now, there's a trick, though. The online gift shop is kind of tricksy. You got to log in and register as a volunteer on our web page. If you do not log in and register as a volunteer, when you make your purchase, you don't get your discount. You, The computer doesn't know. They know that you are so-and-so, but they don't know that you're so-and-so volunteer member. So you need to make sure that you take those steps to get that discount. If you have any questions about that, feel free to call Missy and I. We sit in the office between Monday through Friday, the hours of, I'd say, 8 to 3. Because you're selfish. Be oh, right, I'm selfish. <laughs> and so you could, but you could call us, and we can help you know walk you through that process if you have any okay. questions. But if you've noticed in the past that you haven't gotten your discount online, that's why. Just You just got to register. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah. So for those of you out there that are volunteers, you found out a way to actually get your discount, and that is you got to register. <laughs> and I think also she said that um, there's some needs out there. I know that the uh, Ponchat moderators yep. that are in need, yep. it's kind of a fun position. You get to operate a cam. Yep. And you get to monitor uh, chat. Right. And I know that tomorrow uh, one of our guests is going to be explaining do in a brief format yep. so we'll be looking forward to having uh, her on and in, in fact in a few minutes she's going to actually be on but it's going to be a few minutes yet i just got her up and got her moving over there so that she doesn't get stiff but um truly again if you're just joining us we want to thank you for being on our exciting uh, enjoyable uh, week of uh, volunteer appreciation Absolutely. it's a but we want to bring it local to you and say thank you so much because truly uh, Heidi's not kidding. Uh, with what you guys do out there, 16,000 hours divided by a 40-hour week, just do the divisor. 
it is amazing how many employees we'd have to have here. It is. Well, and just even little things, there's very, yes. it's very often during the summertime once the bears start getting active that we'll get a notification that, hey, did you know so-and-so is doing this? Or, hey, this bear is doing this. And I don't it's know. So cool. I is. don't know because I'm pushing papers. I, I don't yeah. get to sit and watch yeah. the cams. I don't get to, you know, be out here necessarily, you know, staring out the window at the yeah. bears because we got to do the boring business side. So, it's very helpful to have folks like you, eyes in the sky, more or less, to let us know if something might look amiss. Yeah, and there's other occasions where you guys catch things on video, mm -hmm. and we were able to see something that's just awesome that we wouldn't have seen yep. if you guys weren't capturing it on, on that video and then timing it. And then there's other times where it's great for health reasons for our bears. Yep. And uh, So you're helping them, too. Yeah, Yay, you're volunteers. helping the bears. You are helping the bears. And ultimately, good point, everybody... That's helping the North American Bear Center in Northwoods Ecology Hall is helping the bears have a good home Absolutely. and a safe home. Absolutely. And uh, we we thank everybody out there for being so so caring. And, you know, I know sometimes I'll get a text or whatever, and somebody might think they're bothering me about telling me about certain situations that are going on. I'd like to know that. I really do. You know, I, I, I want to know that. And if there's cool times when Lucky Holly or uh, Tasha or, or them are doing things, or Ted, or Ted of course, um, are doing certain Ted. things. It's it's fun to watch. Sometimes it's at the right moment, too, when, I, when I can smile and uh, enjoy it. Now, it's not mean that you should overwhelm me with it, <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just telling you that it is a lot of fun and it is appreciated. And, you know, part of the Bear Center, a big part of the Bear Center, we, we talked about this yesterday, um, we brought up who our first volunteer was. And I still got to bring up our first volunteer that's been a volunteer the longest would be Dr. Lynn Rogers' wife, Donna Rogers. Um, and the reason why I say that she was the first volunteer here is she didn't have a choice. <laughs> she, she, she was, was putting in the time before she even knew she was she putting in the time. Yeah. That's right. And uh, the c contributions that she's helped make just goes to show uh, – how the Bear Center has evolved today with volunteers and what they've done. We've got a volunteer driving up here tomorrow from Duluth. Makes many trips back and forth um, from Duluth. There's many of you out there that have made trips on airplanes tons of times to come help at the North right. American well, Bear Center. Right. Well, and it's not about how many times you're no. able to make no. the trip or no. whether you're even able to make the trip because it's a, living in Ely is yes. expensive. Where at the end of the road, everything costs more. Everything nope. costs more. Nope. Toilet paper, it all, it all is, it's like three dollars more than everywhere else. I swear, I swear it is. So for you to take that time away from your jobs, away from your families, to come spend a weekend or two weekends, or to sit and not be interacting with your families back at your home, wherever that may be, it's while you're doing something there. Absolutely, right? it that's means what a lot. Mean. That's what I mean. It does, it does, and you know, it, it like I said, ten minutes. 10 hours, 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 whatever months. Whatever you're able to give. Whatever you're able to give is very appreciated, mm -hmm. and we want to say thank you for that again. Absolutely. Um, again, if you're just joining us, hello out there. My name is Scott. This is Heidi, and we're here live uh, from North American Bear Center, excited to bring on uh, Volunteer Appreciation Week. Mm -hmm. We've been going since Monday on this. That is correct. And tomorrow we end it with, oh, I'll bet you it's close to $3,500 in gifts and prizes tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we're you about to right. give a basket away that's got a retail value of $150. Yep, absolutely. That's what yes. we would sell it for. Yeah, stuff. all the So it's yes. not that fictitious retail value that they put on something. It's a real retail bear center value. Yes. Correct? That is correct. So, again, we, we thank you, and that will be shipped to you. And, uh, in you don't just get a few the minutes, basket. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just, it's going to come in a box. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You know, in, in, in I, one other thing that I want to mention uh, that I talked about yesterday is the groups. You know, the groups that, uh, that do what they do and the individuals that do what they do. We do recognize it strongly. And sometimes we may not come across that we really appreciate it. But sometimes we forget that there are certain teams, individuals, people out there that are actually volunteers. They almost seem like they're just partners and friends, which they are. Well, but that cycles so back to yeah. is being here since 2011 forget. is this person, this individual, this volunteer. It's always it's always been there. Yes. It's, al it's always been there. Yes. You know what so I mean? So, you, so I wouldn't know how to you take it for granted. Right. Unintentionally. Sam, it's just, yeah, that's just Sam, a constant. That's always, it's always been there. So thank you so much for yep. that. I'm going to bring on one of the people that I have always said that to.
and uh, she's going to be bringing on the uh, the gift basket. And I, I love catching her off guard, so I waited till she set it down. And and here she comes. That's but nice Judy nice. Thone, come on over. Judy Thone is the director of education. For those of you who don't know Judy, this is Judy. Wave, Judy. Hello, Judy. Hey. And uh, Judy's going to need the microphone there, too, back and forth between you two. But Judy is holding our basket that we're about to give away. We're going to do a drawing on that. And um, Judy, there's a lot in there, isn't there? Uh, this, is a, this is a cool basket, and it's, it's heavy, too. Um, this is my favorite. This is the Papa Bear mix. It's the, made by Crapola here in town. That's my favorite of the mixes. The Mama Bear is a little bit sweeter, but... That's my personal favorite, and of course, anything that has holly on it, I'm just, I'm just gonna say, not gonna lie. What about the hot chocolate? Uh, I prefer coffee because it has the caffeine. And then we got the mug. Oh, wait, and we coffee got the with the caffeine. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, Judy, Judy likes the coffee with the caffeine, don't you, Judy? I do, I do. But you know that uh, hot chocolate's good, especially if you got kids or grandkids. No, I don't chocolate. want, I don't want to take thunder away because Judy's going to be on with us tomorrow, and we're going to talk a little bit. But you know, Judy, Judy is a volunteer at the North American Bear Center, and I have told her numerous times that I forget that sometimes, and she's just. And, and I don't mean that she isn't, but she's one of us, and you're all one of us. And that is important to how we get things done. And, Judy, thanks for driving up here. Thanks for being here for National Volunteer Week. Oh, I, I wouldn't miss it for the world. I mean, I, this, is a, this is the Bear family. Yes. And I'll talk about the extended family maybe a little bit tomorrow. Oh, wonderful. So we're going to hold you off till tomorrow. We're going to have, uh, have that. But right now, we're going to have, I'm going to take the microphone from Judy because she can't do everything. But she's got to draw the name being she we can hold the switch. do you want to do you want to switch okay okay she can do it we're going to pick a name out and then like i told you before we're drawing for this basket of ted lucky holly and tasha's stuff it's all their goodies and uh, just a second and what we're going to do is we're going to keep that name out until tomorrow your name will go back in when it comes to the grand prize. When it comes to the drawing. grand prize drawings so tomorrow. We're going to win this basket again tomorrow. Yes. Why? We are going to give another one away tomorrow. Yep. But there's other prizes that you will be eligible for and right. the grand prize itself. Right. So we're going to put your name back in that uh, drawing tomorrow, okay? And who is it? Well, I think. Here I we go. Drum roll. Da, 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 da. I don't do <laughs> Tegan Edwards? Tegan Edwards is the winner of this. Wonderful R4 Bear Basket with all the goodies in it. Congratulations, Tegan. And that is so cool that uh, you won this. I hope you're excited. Uh, I can see you jumping up and down right now. Do you see that? Yeah. Right there. Right. Huh? right. You can hold this now. Uh, but you're doing such a good job. <laughs> but uh, there we go. There's another basket given away. That's right. And Judy, thank you for uh, being almost off the camera. You can see uh, we're watching the TV here. But wasn't that fun? It was. And... Uh, you got to tune in tomorrow because there I we think go. we'll have double fun, maybe. Uh, or is it, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I've heard rumors, but, you know. We will have our other special guest, including Judy, tomorrow. Um, Dr. Lynn Rogers is going to be here, and he's going to be doing the drawings. Mm -hmm. And we're excited for uh, to do those drawings. And I always love watching the reactions on his face when somebody wins. And uh, I know he's excited about it. So if you're watching Dr. Rogers, remember now, tomorrow, you got to be here at quarter to 12. <laughs> so can, can I ask a question? Mark? Yeah. Well, hey, uh, you just said, like, maybe tomorrow, $3,500 worth of prizes. Yes. Well, uh, you, you know, new math or old math, that's a lot of money. So we must have lots of prizes going out. I think we have 12. 21 prizes, I believe it is. 20 or 21 prizes. 20 or 21 prizes, prizes yeah. going out in... Uh, so that's your chance to win tomorrow. You know, just so you're all aware of it, um, things that we're giving away and things that we're doing are all things that we're still being responsible with all our donated dollars. We're making sure everything gets spread out good. And it is uh, a very small token yes, of appreciation yes. for everything that you Thank do. You. It is not enough. We know no, that it's no. not enough, and we're sorry, but we're trying. It, and we know you don't do it for that. Yeah, we know that you're volunteers for that reason, but... I know Dr. Lynn Rogers and North American Bear Center and, and uh, Research Center want to say thank you in a way that we can do it once a year, and it's fun. Yep. Correct? But remember, as a volunteer, you also get a discount, right? Right. So right. you can get that all year long. 
That's that's right. Right. The discounts all year. Remember to register online. And one last time, I want to tell you, if you want to find out more about the volunteer program and, and how you can help or contribute if you're new and watching, is go to www.bear.org, www.bear.org. And click on the volunteer tab. And you can become a member. I mean, a uh, volunteer yeah. and a member. And a, well, right, right. <laughs> Two for one. Yes. Sweet yes. Deal. But again, thank you. Uh, we'll be excited for tomorrow. Tune in at 12 noon Ely time sharp to hear Judy Thone talk about what it's really like to be a volunteer and the volunteer groups that are out there, right? Uh, that's right. I, I'm a volunteer. I work with volunteers and I work with a dynamic staff. And we got to put it all together to have a great visitor, fun, and learning experience. Yep. And we want to thank all of you out there again, and uh, you have a great day. We have beautiful, sunny weather here. The snow is going quickly, and uh, I think us. we're going to hit 60. Don't you curse us. I don't want to curse us neither, but it looks like it's going to be gone by maybe the end of next week, the snow. We're ready, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> even even I'm winter. ready. <laughs> yes, and guess what? The next one's coming quickly. So we want to say thanks again, and you have a great day out there, and uh, keep smiling. Thank Bye you. Now.